Trump discusses possibility of ceding part of Ukraine to Putin. Candidate for the US President Donald Trump is discussing the possibility of ceding part of Ukraine's territory to Russian Vladimir Putin to quickly end the war, informs Politico. The media notes that the desire to quickly resolve the conflict likely plays a key role in Trump's plans regarding NATO and the fate of Ukrainian territories. The presumptive GOP nominee is mulling a deal whereby NATO commits to no further eastward expansion, specifically into Ukraine and Georgia, and negotiates with Russian President Vladimir Putin over how much Ukrainian territory Moscow can keep, two national security experts who support Trump told. In the same political article, it was noted that if Trump wins the US presidential election, the North Atlantic Alliance expects a radical reorientation. Earlier, it was reported on what Trump's plan to end the war in Ukraine looks like. In particular, it involves pressuring Kyiv to make concessions to Moscow. According to the Washington Post, people familiar with Trump's plan say that he said in a private conversation that he could end Russia's war against Ukraine by pressuring Kyiv to give up certain territory. Thus, Trump's idea is to push Ukraine to hand over Crimea and Donbass to Russian control, according to people who have discussed the issue with Trump and his advisers on condition of anonymity. According to the Washington Post, Trump said that he believes both Russia and Ukraine want to save face, want a way out, and that people in some parts of Ukraine would agree to be part of Russia. According to people who were at the meeting, former Trump White House aide Michael Anton described the expected outlines of the plans as Ukraine ceding the territories of Crimea and Donbass, limiting NATO expansion and encouraging Putin to reduce his growing dependence on China. Thousands of people at a religious gathering in India rushed to leave a makeshift tent, setting off a stampede that killed at least 120 people and injured scores, officials said. It was not immediately clear what triggered the panic following an event with a Hindu guru known locally as Bole Baba. Local news reports cited authorities who said heat and suffocation in the tent could have been a factor. Video of the aftermath showed the structure appeared to have collapsed. People started falling one upon another, one upon another. Those who were crushed died. People there pulled them out. Witness Shakuntala Devi told the Press Trust of India News Agency. Investigators are pursuing Bola Baba, the self-styled godman who led the event. The disaster happened at a prayer meeting, known as a satsang, in Mogul Garhai village in Uttar Pradesh, India's most populous state. Permission was sought for the event with 80,000 attendees, however a crowd of more than 250,000 devotees gathered. About 40 policemen had been deployed to provide security at the event, additional Director General of Agra Police, Anupam Kulshreshtha, told reporters. The deadly scenes unfolded after the event had finished, when Bola Baba's devotees rushed toward the stage to touch his feet, according to Chief Secretary Singh, who described scenes of chaos as people began to fall on top of each other and into an open sewer nearby.